Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you start Jenkins? Let me answer. So, how do you start Jenkins? In order to start Jenkins, we have to run this command known as java-jar. Okay, the name of the war file of Jenkins, that is Jenkins.war. Okay, we have to first download this Jenkins.war file from the official website of Jenkins. After that, we have to install the Jenkins with the help of the same command. And for starting the Jenkins also, we have to use the same command. Okay, in the answers provided in the previous interview questions, okay, how to install Jenkins and all, you would have seen already how we have used the same command for installing Jenkins from the command line. Okay, after we have done installing, to start the Jenkins also, we have to use the same command. So whatever the war file I have downloaded for installing Jenkins earlier is available at this location in my machine. You can watch my previous answers for the previous interview questions where I have successfully or where I have clearly shown you, okay, how to inst download and install Jenkins, okay, previous interview questions, okay, before this uh, video. So now once you have this Jenkins.war file, you don't have to download it again and again for starting the Jenkins. We have closed the command prompt for installing Jenkins and after starting it and configuring it and all. Next time when you want to start Jenkins, simply come to this uh, location, select this path where Jenkins.war file is available and type CMD here and press enter and uh, a command prompt will come. And uh, beside the command prompt, you give java-jar Jenkins.war, okay? This is the name of the file, Jenkins, and extension of the file is .war, .war. But this is a command, java-jar, followed by the name of the file .war, okay? Press enter. Already the Jenkins has been installed, so it will not give you the password. This time, rather, it will start the Jenkins for you, okay? Next time onwards, once installation is done, initially, if the installation is not done, the same command will give you a password, okay? to you know, install Jenkins in your machine. But uh, next time, once you have done all the installation and all of Jenkins in your machine, next time it's not going to give you the password, rather it is going to directly start the Jenkins. You see, Jenkins is fully up and running means it has started it, nothing much. Now, once it is started, you have to check once whether you are able to access Jenkins or not. Just open the browser. Jenkins will generally defaultly run in the default port number 8080. Let's say local host uh, colon 8080. Okay, press enter. So since it is running here, you should not be closing the command prompt. You can minimize it, but you should not be closing the command prompt. In a while, you will get the Jenkins screen when you type local host 8080. Let's wait. It's loading. Almost there. Yeah, it will ask for the username. I think I remember I have given the username while installing Jenkins in my machine in the previous video answer as Arun Moduri and password I have given it as 12345. Just press sign in. You should be able to log into Jenkins. Okay. This command prompt should not be closed. That is very important. After you start Jenkins, don't close the command prompt. Okay. You see, you are able to access the Jenkins, you are able to start the Jenkins. But if you close the command prompt, this you will get some kind of uh, you know unreachable kind of error okay fine so hope guys you understood how to start jenkins in your machine the same command that we have used for installing jenkins in our machine we have to use the same command for starting the jenkins also with practical demonstration i have answered this question for you so that's all for this session thank you bye bye